what you know. It's still October and I have another recipe for you. I like to call this sweet face. Or you could call it a traditional red velvet cake. Traditional in the sense that no beetroot juice is used and no food colouring is used. It won't look red like the inside of your arm, but it will definitely have a red twinge to it, an orangey red twinge. But it tastes so much better. You don't get the bitterness you do from colouring. And it doesn't taste like beetroot. No one wants a cake to taste like beetroot in a cake. Let's do it. Okay, let's start the cake. Into a bowl, you want to add your sugar and your butter. Make sure it's nice and soft now. And beat those together until they're smooth. Now add your eggs one at a time. Combining them after each one. Now set that aside and in another bowl sift in your flour Raw cacao powder. You cannot use normal cocoa powder for this. It will not work. And some bicarbonate of soda. Now make sure those are well and combined. Now in a jug, put in your buttermilk and your vanilla extract. and give that a stir. Now into your butter mixture add a third of your buttermilk and a third of your dry ingredients. Combine that well before adding second third of the buttermilk and the dry ingredients and then the final third of each, giving it a good mix, making sure it is completely smooth. Then in three roasting tins, divide your batter equally, and in an oven at 160 degrees, bake them for 30 to 35 minutes, and then let them cool completely before cutting each one in half, so you have six layers. Now let's make the frosting. Into your soft butter add your cream cheese and beat those together until they're pale. Now add your icing, sugar and vanilla extract. Now combine it all well. Now let's make the modelling chocolate. Melt your white chocolate. Add in your glucose and give it a good stir until a dough is formed. Wrap it up and cool it until it goes nice and firm. Now let's make the face. On a plate or a cake board, layer your cake and your frosting. Skewer all six layers with straws to keep it steady and chill it overnight. Once it's firmed up, now we're going to carve out a face shape. Do this with a serrated knife. Makes it a lot easier. Make sure you save anything you cut off. Now in a bowl, add all your offcuts and squidge them together until you make a dough. With this we're going to create the face shape on top of the cake. Now take your modelling chocolate 
Give it a knead until it's soft. Roll it out, not too thin. And drape that over our face. Trim off the excess. And now it's just a case of adding details. Eyelids, lips, nostrils. All manner of interesting things. Once you're happy with your face, add shading with cocoa powder. And colouring if you want to make it look a little more realistic. And then it's done. Oh, the poor dear. I have part of her skull. Let's try it, shall we? Mm. There was just something about this cake. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. Even if you don't make it look like our friend over there, you serve this. You'll have everyone eating out of your hand. It's probably one of the most moist cakes you will ever try. And the frosting has that slight tartness you get with the cheese, which complements the sweetness of the cake. And the white moulding chocolate we put on the outside. A stunning cake. If you liked what you just watched, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of her other videos. Until next time. In Germany, going to cut a slice out of your face.